A good debate is good. I, I like the uh, government's approach and recently when the Supreme Court, uh, the Delhi High Court, I don't recollect. What are the laws of government? What is your view on section 66A? How many of you know what 66A is? It's that section of the income tax act. Joe, you would know obviously and somebody there. Uh, it is that section of the uh, our act which deals with the IT act, which deals specifically with the use of how social media issues can be prevented. So we saw some arrest when Bal Thakre was uh, died and uh, two girls from Pune or uh, Thane were picked up and arrested. And after that, the Supreme Court put in certain conditions saying that only DCP level officers can effect an arrest and that too after credible investigation is done. But what is now required, and you might say this is great for an organization like a Birla or a Tata or uh, any consumer durable interest companies like uh, consumer soft companies like Inusa and Weaver to run because they have the products to sell, they have the service to sell, and they can easily pitch it in the social media. But as a, as a public sector organization, we have certain rules and regulations which don't permit us to go beyond and start using social media. And for that, I always go back and say, go and check the number of ministry, Facebook and Twitter sites today. Uh, people like Nirmala Sitaraman, people like uh, Mr. Modi actually, he doesn't say tweet himself, but he has a team that does it. But I've seen Nirmala tweet. She was sitting in a Fiki conference here in Hyderabad before she became a minister, of course. And as soon as she finished, she took a picture of herself, tweeted and said, I'm here in Taj Krishna attending the Fiki meet on what's next in Andhra Pradesh. So the power of the social media is immense because there are certain things. Yes, sir, you ask me. No. The problem is, as I said just now, I don't get it. I don't know uh, what to do with the social media. And typically, this is true for people who grew up in an era where they never used anything beyond a BSNL phone. Okay? Now, the age where you can tweet from a mobile, you can tweet from a tab, you can write a Facebook update, you can take pictures as you travel and post it. So, the first thing they, executives, and when I mean executives, I mean across the board, uh, executives often say, I don't understand social media. How many of you here truly believe that you don't understand social media? Let's be truthful. Let's not, be, let's not fool ourselves and say, I know everything about social media. Nobody knows everything about social media. But do you truly understand how to use social media? How many of you in this room would do it? What is it that prohibits you from using social media? Yes, sir. So on your own, suppose you tweet and somebody, one of your colleagues picks up the screenshot of that and sends it to your boss and says, look, this guy is tweeting about these kind of stuff on the web. Now, there was no policy. Technically, that's the first thing I've suggested in the, one of the last slides that organization do is Bring out a policy. The Ministry of External Affairs, for example, under Syed Akhbaruddin, who is one of India's foremost, I think, communicators today, the Prime Minister's office offered him a job saying, Be my media advisor, he refused. He said, I enjoy being the Ministry of External Affairs. Uh, he tweets every five minutes to ten minutes a picture on Facebook or on Twitter. The last one I checked just before was about something like three minutes before I logged in. His pictures are there everywhere. I mean, no matter Korea, Kuchua, Nepal, something happened, China, India, and Sushma Swaraj went, Umdrich, there's constant tweeting of information to an extent today that media houses pick up his pictures. Because they don't have a correspondent in China covering the visit. They pick up his pictures and they pick up his text. Which means they have evolved a policy there. That this is what you can tweet, this is what you cannot tweet. And I will take you through that in the later part of it. But truly, sir, I think. Time has come now for people in public sector enterprises also to accept the fact, of course it has to start from the top, and the top is already, it's happening there, it has to percolate down. And I've seen Mr. Piyush Goyal quite active on Twitter and Facebook in kind of updating what happens. I mean, he used to do it when he was uh, not even a minister at that time, he used to do it then also. The second thing that often you hear from many executives, some of you don't even read your own mail, and how are they? These are all from a survey, by the way. It's not me making a statement. These are a part of a survey taken by a business daily uh, among public sector enterprises, uh, honchos, about why they don't use social media. So I've just extracted these statements from there. So it is not my own uh, take on it. This is, this is what some of the CEOs and uh, executive directors and uh, CMDs of companies and banks have quoted. So this is what the problem is. I don't read my own mail. My secretary reads my mail and gives me a printout. 
Imagine the mail was supposed to avoid a printout, but in today's uh, culture where they take a printout of a mail and give it to the boss to read. So it defeats the entire purpose of having the mail. So the first thing should be a habit of reading your own mail. That would actually create a culture where you start using your social media actually. But then 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 the constant checking. Uh, I, for example, my wife always accuses me of checking the phone at every traffic signal. Okay, because that's become a habit. Because I have a mail that drops in every three, four minutes into my mailbox. I need to respond. People say that Suresh, if you send him a mail at 2:21 in the morning, he will respond at 2:23. I will, I will respond. Because if it is not really urgent, I'll say next day morning. That is four hours later, I will respond. But if it is urgent, I will respond on the spot there. Because the person who is sending you at 2.21 in the morning is awake and sending it to you which means it is pretty urgent. Okay. We got to appreciate what he is or she is doing. The third excuse and there are a lot of them, I just picked up the top three. I will find out the reason, uh, the previous slide. I will just go back to the previous slide. Yes. 